guys, welcome back to our channel. So there is no vlog today, but there is a little something that I wanted to review for you guys today, which I have been waiting to review. Now that most of my daughter's teeth have come through, especially her molars, I feel like now is the time to do a proper review on this product. And this product is the Amber Teething Necklace, which looks like this. They do come in a variety of different colors and a different style. I believe they have them as an anklet as well if you're worried about your child wearing a necklace. They do make these short enough for uh, the necklace type so that your baby doesn't get strangled in any way or it doesn't um, get caught on anything. I do believe that the manufacturer that makes this is pretty safe at doing so. There have been some articles I've read about babies being caught in one of these or their fingers being caught in one of these. I guess it's just the way the babies are positioned that it happens but I've never had that happen to my baby while wearing this amber necklace. For those of you who aren't sure what an amber teething necklace is, it is beads that are made of Baltic amber and are worn against the baby's skin. The body heat triggers the release of a minute amount of oil that contains succinic acid, a natural occurring substance in the body. When the oil is absorbed, it has an analgesic effect on swollen sore gums. It is drug-free and natural, but there is no medical proof that amber teething beads offer any true benefit. I have looked at reviews on these amber teething necklaces online and 50% of mommies out there say that it doesn't work for their baby and the other 50% say that it works for their baby. I am solely just giving you my opinion on this necklace and how I feel like it worked for my baby. So if you do have this amber teething necklace and it didn't work for your baby, you don't have to watch this video because I just wanna give my two cents on this necklace. There are different styles of these that you could get. You can get them in an anklet form or a bracelet form. You don't have to have the necklace type. This is just what I preferred for my baby and what um, has worked for me, uh, has worked for my baby. There are no hazards that occurred the time that she was wearing this. Um, I did put this on her when she started teething and drooling at three months old. And she wore this up until 13 to about 14 months. My baby is 17 months old now. The reason why she just wore it for that period of time was because she just noticed that she had a necklace and she would just pull it off and she didn't want it on. So I said, okay, let's see how you do with it off. Before I even put the necklace on her, she was drooling constantly because she was starting to teeth. And when I started putting the necklace on her, I noticed about three weeks later that her drooling had minimized. I didn't really have to put a bib on her because of that. So I do feel like, yes, it does work for minimizing the drooling for the baby. In regards to the teething part, I feel like it doesn't work on some babies because each baby has a different temperament and personality and their tolerance of pain. So with that said, I did have to give my baby Camila drops. I didn't just rely on this necklace. Now I relied on this necklace for drooling. So is this necklace a myth or magic? I mean, it all depends. It depends on your baby's temperament, the way they handle pain, um, their tolerance of pain, the way they cope with pain. So each baby is different. So it does work for 50% of babies and it doesn't work for the other 50%. So that is why, you know, I've looked at different reviews before I even sat here and gave my full review on what I think about this necklace because there have been lots of moms, my mom friends who have asked me if this necklace works and just sitting down here and um, giving my full explanation on it I feel like would benefit all mommies out there who are wondering if this necklace works. So um, my opinion is that it does minimize the drooling however for the teething I still did 
give my daughter some Camila drops for pain. I didn't even notice her molars coming in afterwards. I feel like she was okay with um, without this necklace, with having her molars come through and that is the most painful for babies is when their molars come through but I didn't get any complaints from her so for you mommies out there who are wondering if this thing works if you are thinking about buying it for your baby um, if they're teething if you're having a hard time I feel like there's no harm in trying right like you can experiment on your own I'm sorry for the difference in lighting that's coming in because natural lighting here is the lighting is going in and out and I'm sorry about that you guys but um it's getting dark so I gotta hurry up before my natural lighting does go away completely I have talked to other moms who have told me that it had worked for them um, when their baby was teething and when their molars were coming through they're a lot calmer I think that it just depends on your baby's pain tolerance and uh, there's just their personality and how they cope with pain in general. You can try and see for yourself if it works for your baby, if it doesn't, big deal. I did get this uh, from a local baby store and it was like what, 20 bucks I think? It's $20 for this necklace but because it is a known to be a natural remedy, um, so a lot more natural products are on the expensive side you know it really depends on you as a mom if you want your child to wear it or not I mean I liked my daughter wearing this because I felt like it was just cute on her just a little accessory so um, I wanted her to have the necklace but you don't have to get the necklace you can get the anklet or you can get the bracelet I mean it all depends on you um, I hope you guys learned something from this review and um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll try to get back to you with the answers, if I know them. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Mm. Ah. Say ah.